and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can create login through services and database API so for backend we are going to use PHP MySQL and for frontend angular 8 we are going to in this video so this is the project structure so inside login folder we have login.html and login.ts file so first let's create this login.html file in, in, in this component html component so let's start writing code here so this is bootstrap uh, class row and then when you call here please login please login okay and then we will write this code so if there is message then some some message will display here or else there will be no message and then uh, there is form okay so form form group login form and then uh, after uh, clicking on submit button there will be a function called on submit so after that we will create some field for example here I'm creating here username so input type text form control so please note here that this will be camel case okay so F small then C capital then N capital here so username then username and autocomplete I'm putting it off and for validation purpose I have written here code say div error class ng if login dot form controls or controls username has error required okay so has error required in that case and login form controls username touched in that case it will display this message please enter username after that there is password okay so password is also like same and then here form control here the login form that controls the password has error required and the login form dot controls password touched in that case it will display page enter password and then here button this is the bootstrap button class button button success digital login form invalid if it's invalid then login form is invalid in that case it will be disabled okay and then ng if invalid login if the ts file returns this uh, invalid login to in that case it will display invalid user or password please try again so that is our HTML section of this login form let me so that you can see this better okay so let's save it and then let me check here okay so you can see here this is our username field and this one is our password field but apart from that you can see there is some error saying that form group expects a form group instance so we need to create this form group instance inside our ts file so how let's go to our ts file of this login form and now we need to create here uh, login form that form group okay so apart from that you need to also import here form group form builder and validators with these two we will use later but at this moment you can see that form group we are using here and we we are creating here an instance or an object with you can say and initially the invalid login will be boolean and it will be false and inside constructor we need to call services so this is form builder this one 
instance of form builder and this one is private router so this one is a router and here API service for this one all right so we have created this form builder instance and then a router instance as well as API service instance so it requires to be parameterized fixed so that's it now let's check the form so for the time being you can see the error oh there is still okay we need to create instance as well because we have used here form control as well as name we have provided here form control name so this instance should exist inside our ts file so let's create that also now let's write this code here login form the same one this one the login form here right this login form we have given here then we are creating here form group so form builder dot group username and password and here it is validators required and also this one is required here so compost normally we use when you need to provide more than one condition so though there is only one condition here of validator uh, validator here but still I have used here compost so no problem now we need to create the function this function we need to create this own submit function inside this so let's create that function here inside the class on submit on submit and then here console.log let's see if console.log then login form this dot this dot login form dot value now let's try here to check if the value is passing or not all right so now let me write here umar username and password i'm providing here one two three four five okay now let's click here and in console you can check that the value is passing perfectly in JSON format right okay so now we need to call this service so that we can send the data submitted data by the user to the service first let's write this code here that if this dot login form invalid then return true so based on this if it's written if in invalid it is true in that case this button this button will be disabled if it's true in that case so here it is checking that if this dot login form invalid in that case it will return true now let's proceed ahead and write more code then here i'm writing login data then this dot login form dot controls dot username dot value and password dot value so we are retrieving here username and password value okay and then the same value we will pass to the service now here is the service so here we are calling this service which service api service which we have created in previous videos so in case you have not uh, watched our previous videos then i strongly recommend you to go and check our previous video so that you can check and you know uh, about this service and also let me create a declare here instance variable so already declared here message any and now let's compile it again and it's no problem it is fine okay and this api service 
it's actually this service okay so inside service we have declared a function created a function called login inside that we are passing this login data as a parameter so here we have created this login and then this one is the parameter and same parameter is passing here the same parameter we are passing there where to our API service login.php and one more thing here I'd like to mention here that this one is observable so when the data is returned from API or API then it returns actually this observable all right so about observable I have created two dedicated detailed video so I recommend you that you can check into our uh, tutorial raise uh, channel okay you go to there and you can you can see uh, go to playlist okay and inside playlist you can check let me show you that if you want to know if you want to know more about the observable then I have a video let me show you to And then type here tutorial raise so this one is my channel and then click here and then go to playlist it's playlist and here you can see angular observable so I have two videos about this so if you want to know more about that then you're gonna you can play here two videos and check what how this observable work so here you need to create login.php which I have already created and so let me show you in this file so this one is login.php file inside that token initially I have provided null and this code is uh, I'm currently not using actually uh, in a later video I will create in which I will use JWT authentication so for that purpose uh, I've just written this code but for the timing there is no use of this code and here it is extracting the data okay JSON, JSON data it is extracting and here it is JSON decoding and transferring converting into array format PHP array format and then here here I have hard coded okay you can use here database and check if the username and password is correct in that case this JSON uh, encode uh, will return or else simply it will display uh, the below code okay so let's let me show you the complete code so this code is for validation username is Umar and password is 1234 so as I mentioned that this one currently I hard coded but in your case you can uh, utilize through your uh, you know MySQL database and here JSON encode if everything is fine in that case it will display successful message and token manually I have put here like this okay later uh, I will also show you that how uh, you can use uh, JWT authentication for uh, this token system but for the timing I've hard coded it and email and expire it here password okay so I don't think that it password is required so currently I can remove this username is substant okay and then it will return HTTP code response code and that is 200 that means successful and if username and password is not correct in that case it will display it will return message login failed so that's it in this PHP code so now let's try if it works or not so let's go to here 
and then username I'm writing like say something different like Kumar not Kumar here password I'm putting something then click login so it is not displaying any message right so what is it returning if you want to check then go to network and then click login then it is the response code is returning okay yeah it's returning fine it is showing that message is login failed this one so let's return back here to login dot component dot ts file and then here let's write this message so it should be double s actually mistake only i had put three s in message so it's a so error here also okay and then the same message which to display here i've already displayed here the same message but here also i mistake there are three times s so let's make it two times now let's try once again okay so now once again let me try here Kumar and then something writing on it. login then message login field so let's check into the console there is some problem in let me go to network once again and then response here message login field it looks like fine so why it is not displaying here let me console.log here the message Let's see data dot message So here this one let me write here and then oh are So let's check here by this this dot message let's save it and then let's see in the console what the return is coming so let's type here anything wrong and then still it is showing something wrong so in console username password and in message to display anything so what's the error what's wrong it's not filled login field okay so it is coming inside error uh, so simply let me uh, comment it okay and then if you try here then you can see it is working fine so username I'm writing something and password also then here it is saying that login failed so let me just remove this one there should be no alert and rather so invalid login too in this case invalid login will be true okay and here we have checked if invalid login is true here if invalid login is true in that case it will display this message so plus plus equals to danger So somehow the plus is not working by the way the message is showing here 
so so I think T H T then danger it should be like this okay T danger not working by the way we can uh, apply CSS in this one and you can display this message if you want to display this one in, in the top section and simply just cut it and then in just blow this message we can display this one also okay now let's try it so it is displaying invalid user password please try it again login field okay now in case we type correct user password which I have given here say user name is Umar and password one two three four so let's type it this time one two and one two three four five okay now click on login now you can see the login is successful but it really is showing invalid user and password which is not right so let's try to refresh it and check again if the error is there so Umar and then one two three four five now click on login and here you can see that it is showing successful login so now you can see that if I enter correct user password then I get the successful message or else I get invalid login uh, or password so that's it now the next uh, task is to check in any page other than login page if the unauthenticated user wants to see that page then it, it will it will not be allowed to see okay only the authenticated user can see any secure page so now let's do one thing uh, let's make any page component secure here for example Mm, we have add page icon in this right right add here okay so only the authenticated user anyone who has correct user and password and logged in only then this page can be accessed by the user so I will show you that in the next video that how you can authenticate any page in Angular. So in this video, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe because if, if you have subscribed then in future also I will bring such more useful videos for you so that you can use and uh, you know work in your uh, you can use that in your future projects. Thank you for watching.